everybody. Welcome to Network Connection. My name is Ronnie, and today I have the pleasure to talk with Matt Payne. Matt is the Security Consultant and Branch Manager of uh, Central Pacific Security System in Boise, Idaho. Hey, Matt, how's it going today? Doing great, Ronnie. How about you? I'm wonderful. All right, so let's jump right in. Um, so, Matt, tell me in, in your words, what is it that you do? Yeah, so at Sonatrol Pacific, we are the leading verified security company. Really, what we focus on is helping people protect their assets and their people. And that's done through a specialized after hours alarm system, through access control, as well as just different. We'll save the time of listing all the products, but a variety of measures that help, you know, secure a facility in a lockdown scenario, as well as help employees reach out for help if anything is going on. Oh, wow. That is very, very cool. Um, so how long has the company been in business? So we've been in Boise since 1999. And then Sonatrol Pacific, we're a Northwest rooted company, family owned and operated, same ownership since we've opened. And uh, we first opened our doors in 1976. Wow, that's a long time. I can't even do the math in my head right now. That's amazing. <laughs> and how long have you been in Boise? So I recently moved over to Boise in November of 2020. I had been working with Sonatrol Pacific on our Seattle team for a few years. I had an opportunity to step into the manager role here and yeah, just hit the ground running. My wife and I were really excited to, to come to Idaho and heard such amazing things and it really hasn't wow. disappointed so far. That is so exciting. All right. So, so what would you say separates you know there's a lot of security companies out there but what is something that separates um sonic 12 from other companies yeah absolutely i'm going to quote uh, someone i'd actually met with uh, the other day we were doing a site survey on a new medical office and what they described as a company they were meeting with is simply safe on steroids <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What I mean by that is that a lot of a lot of companies in the alarm industry really don't care if it's your house, your apartment, or your business. They're all going to use the same style of system. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem that people run into commercially on that is it's an extremely high false alarm rate, 98% actually of companies using motion detectors. We were actually created by a former police officer who was frustrated by that style of system because it he was showing up constantly to false alarms if it was a valid break and he was always showing up too late because you know it's kind of for lack of a better word it's the boy who cried wolf one too many times with the wrong style of system so what people are finding is police prioritize the style of alarm that you have if it's that motion detector simply safe you know, kind of big corporate style of system, there's no priority for the PD to get out there when that alarm is activated. Because wow. they know 90% false alarm rate, if you only have so much bandwidth, I, I, I can't blame them for not responding quickly on those. So where we're, we were created, we use different styles of systems which fall into the verified category which means if your alarm goes off, we are able to tell, is it a crime in progress or is it a false alarm? When you look at doing that, it gives that ability to still get priority police responses, not have people woken up in the middle of the night by nothing going on at the business. And if an event occurs, give them a return on that investment they're putting in their security. Yeah, absolutely. That makes, makes a lot of sense. Well, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Um, so company has been in business for many years. You worked in this industry uh, for three years and now you, know, you are managing a branch. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have like a favorite customer service story to share? Oh, that's, that's, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a couple that jumped to mind, but uh, one specifically is last summer we had a, a, a customer who was a small locally owned dessert bar which what a lot of people kind of think in security is they're like, well, a dessert bar, who's going to break um, in here? I'll, I'll go break in and get all their cakes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and they, when they had opened, you know, they kind of just did the cheapest security option they could have. Now, what happened is they got broken into twice in six months on that system. What? 
Mm -hmm. So they had reached out. They were a referral from another gelato bar that we worked with. And we installed the system. It was within roughly, give or take an hour to 24 hours after we installed that we had an apprehension on site. And the best part was, is that the person that came in, oftentimes with break-ins, if someone gets away with it once, they know they can come back and do it again. The person did the exact same thing that the other system did not detect. We got them arrested, zero loss to the business. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, well, we're laughing, you know, cakes may not be that expensive, but equipment is. Um, Absolutely. And so. disruption, disruption to the business is oftentimes bigger than the material loss. Exactly. All right. So um, I have one more question. Um, so um, you started uh, the, the branch um, in November 2020 when you moved in, uh, which is right before COVID. Um, so has COVID-19 affected your business? We, you know, we're a company that it's, it's just interesting the effect that different life circumstances will have on our business. In good economy like we had, you know, a year and a half ago prior to COVID is we were working with a lot of new businesses that were moving in, office expansions, really kind of the exciting part of that time. Yep. Now, the inverse of that is when COVID hit, there was almost an immediate spike in crime. And it was not just in the cities on the news, it was everywhere. Yeah. So, you know, our business model adjusted, we had to get more, you know, more remote than we were to protect our essential infrastructure. But really our business model changed from kind of the fun side of people opening new businesses to really focusing on following up from break-ins and crime prevention. Um, you know, so we were fortunate that we did not skip a beat with COVID and had an opportunity to really help and educate a lot. Wow, that is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so I promised it was going to be a short interview. Um, so would you mind sharing with us uh, what is the best way to reach you? Yeah, so best way to reach me is call or email. Uh, either way is totally fine. I check either regularly. And we do offer consulting as well. So, and what I mean by that is there isn't a charge to have a conversation. If so in today's day and age, if someone just wants an audit of their building, a look at ideas and a conversation, anybody's welcome to reach out and we want to schedule that conversation. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, would you want to check your phone number and email? Yes. So <laughs> phone number is 208-440-6488. And email address is amazonmattpain at sanatrollpacific.com. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you, Matt, so much for your time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a wonderful day. All right. Thank you, Ronnie.